Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 75. For the episode ahead, there's going to be a focus on PVM and Slayer, and I don't envisage including much skilling content, if any at all, to be honest. One thing I am thinking about doing is upgrading my gear slightly for starting some solo Saradome in God Wars. I got rigor in the last episode, so there are a couple of other realistic upgrades I can go for, being the Dragon Crossbow and the Odium Ward. Rune Dragons are fairly AFK and with nearly 600 KC under my belt already. Um, I'm hoping that's a realistic aim this video. I haven't done any wilderness bossing in ages, so that should be good fun too. As always, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. Had a couple of totems hanging around in the bank, so did two Skatiza kills, got two hard clues and an elite. Can we get anything good? No. Uh, no. Not the best, not the worst. Well, that wasn't exactly the shard I was looking for, but that is the Malediction Shard 2. It would be kind of cool to get the Malediction Ward on my way to going for the Odium, but uh, not sure that has as much use for me as the Odium Ward does, to be perfectly honest. Alright, well this is kill 256, which is the drop rate for the Malediction Shard, though I'm not going to complain too much because the kills here are ridiculously quick. And if I'm going to go dry anywhere, I'd prefer it to be this one rather than Scorpia or uh, the Chaos Fanatic, to be perfectly honest. Um, the only downside, I suppose, is that using the Trident does mean that it's depleting my Death Runes rather quickly, but it's not too much hassle to go and buy those. And I've got a decent cash stack at the moment. So yeah, that's the only one very minor downside to this boss. Well, that is unfortunate. Another Malediction Shard. I'm up to 351 KC now, and the drop rate for the Odium is 1 in 256. So hopefully won't go too dry. Well, that is another 1 in 128 drop, the Fedora. I'm not sure if I've had that before. I don't think so. I guess it's one for the collection log. So I've been killing Rune Dragons for a little bit now and have reached over the drop rate for the dragon limbs, so hopefully they'll come fairly soon. It's a 1 in 800 drop. It's only a marginal upgrade on the rune crossbow, but it would be nice to have, so hopefully you can get it soon. Hey, that didn't take too long at all. I think that might be just over 900 KC overall, which is really good. I was thinking if I went over a thousand, it might not actually be worth going for, just because it's such a minor upgrade over the Rune crossbow, but let's check out the KC. Oh, even under 900, 888 kills overall, so just like 10% over the drop rate. That's pretty good. All right, so let's very quickly put this together and compare it to the rune crossbow. So we're basically upgrading from plus 90 range attack to plus 94, which isn't a huge boost, but Nice to have that, I guess, until I get the Armadillo crossbow or the Dragon Hunter crossbow, and it looks pretty cool as well. I think there's something wrong with my client. I've just been hopping worlds, killing the crazy archaeologists, and it's just told me I've unlocked all of these music tracks, which definitely had before. Very strange. Picking up a black mask. I think that might be my third or possibly my fourth. I don't have particularly good luck here at Cave Horrors. Um, if you're wondering why I'm here, just fancy taking a break from the crazy archaeologist. I'm over 500 KC now, over double the drop rate for the shard, but hopefully you can get it soon. Hello Duradel, General Grador, how many would I like to slay? I'll go for the full 35. I don't know if I'll do a melee method or maybe just go back to trying the mage method again, but that's pretty cool. Um, probably quite rare to actually get that task, so who knows, might be able to get a drop. Oh, just did a random beginner clue and picking up the sandwich lady bottoms. I actually have no idea how many uniques I've got from beginner clues, but that's a nice one to add to the collection. I'm up to 821 KC. That's my second fedora. I've still only had two shards, both being malediction. Oh yeah. Well, that is unfortunate. A third Malediction Shard 2. I think at this KC I could have expected three, well yeah, three Malediction Shards and three Odium Shards basically. I'm over three times the drop rate for both of them. So uh, yeah, 
Strange place to go dry for an item, but there we go. This, this is a bit of a joke. It's like a few kills later, that's my fourth malediction shard. Oh dearie me, I thought this was going to be a, a quick little sojourn into the wilderness. Kill a few demi-bosses, get myself some Odian shards, build a little shield and go to Sarah God Wars. Not going to give up. I, I actually think the Malediction Ward is going to be pretty useful for Maging Bandos, so I'm going to persevere. Hopefully the other two bosses will treat me a little bit kinder. But not giving up. Certainly not giving up. And another Fedora. Well, it's another Malediction Shard. i got three in my looting bag. I should probably go bank. Though I've, I've not seen any PKs here. In nearly 900 kills so I'm not too worried about dying but yeah there we go 902 is the magic number crazy archaeologist complete gonna head over and do the chaos fanatic next and we'll leave Scorpia to last I would kind of like to finish up the malediction ward as I said because it is a bit of an upgrade on the book of darkness which is my mage offhand of choice at the moment but nice to finally get that one done, look at that. All right, there we go, that is the first shard. It's the Malediction shard. So looking pretty likely now that I'll actually complete both the Malediction and Odium Ward. Definitely gonna go and bank this. I've had one PK run into me so far. I'm a bit annoyed that I didn't record it. I sort of panicked a bit, but um, he tagged me just as the Chaos Fanatic died. And um, very luckily once the Chaos Fanatic respawned, got back onto him and I was able to log off. So it's still not particularly busy there in terms of PKs, so I'm not too worried, but it would be nice to get the Odium Shard fairly quickly. Hey, there we go, 428 kills. That is the Odium Shard. So Scorpia is the place that I'll be heading to next. Definitely the most dangerous out of all of these bosses. Let's see what we can get. So this is going to be my setup for Scorpia. I think it's very likely that I might die a few times going for these shards because it is in multi-combat. So I'm not going to take anything that I'm worried about losing. This is a three item setup so I'm going to be protecting my Trident, Occult and my Tormented Bracelet. And then I guess if I get a shard I can stick on Protect Item if I get hit. Which would be kind of unlucky, you know, getting that drop and then getting hit. But decided also what I'm going to do is just go for one shard initially and depending on which one I get stop doing Scorpia and do a bit of God War so if I get the Malediction shard I'll make the ward and go and do my Bandos task if I get the Odium shard I will go and do some Saradomin for a little bit and then maybe if I have time before the end of the episode go back and try and get the other one wish me luck there we go finally got a shard and it is the Odium so as long as I can get out of here alive we are heading to Sara God Wars a D med helm from Ziliana. That's got to be pretty rare. Hey, my first drop at Sarah coming in. The Sarah Domin's Light. Not had that one before. It's not particularly useful, but it'll be nice to consume that. And it will make the Zamorok area no longer dark, which I guess is okay. I still need to go back to Zami for the hill, obviously. So, yeah, kind of cool to get that. Alright, well that is my 100th kill at Commander Ziliana. I'm really enjoying this boss, I have to say. It's pretty chilled out. I'm not even doing a flicky methods. My range defense with this setup is pretty decent. So um, I'm basically just coming in with three brews, three ranging pots and four staminas. And that's been going fairly well for me so far. I think they've updated the ecumenical key drop rate to just be a flat 1 in 60 from all monsters in the Wilderness God Wars dungeon. And that's sped up getting the keys as well for me, which has been really nice. So yeah, enjoying the method, it's going well. I think it's probably worth having the Odium Ward as an upgrade. So yeah, maybe we'll get another drop soon. Unfortunately though, that is the end of today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I've just run out of time to get any more clips. I did want to get this release today ahead of the Twisted League release tomorrow. Um, but it's been a good episode. I enjoyed doing some of the Wilderness bosses even though I was there longer than I had anticipated. But getting the Odium Ward 
was pleasing and I'm glad that I managed to try Sour God Wars at least a little bit and certainly will be plenty more of those uh, kills to come in the future. Um, as I mentioned, Twisted Leagues is being released tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to trying out that game mode. I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I'm going to be playing on this account so that I have the rewards available on here um, at the end of the, the two months of the Twisted League. It's probably going to be good for the channel in terms of getting some more frequent uploads, you know, five times XP rates, a whole new way of playing. I, I'm really looking forward to it. And um, if you want to stay up to date with all the videos, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please do like it. It, it really does help the channel grow. And um, until next time, guys, take care.